God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. The Bible proclaims that Jesus is the Savior of men. Jesus is the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. We stand in sin because we're going to die. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You're going to die. You're going to face judgment. You're going to face eternity, eternity where the Bible says there is an afterlife. The afterlife that the Bible speaks about is heaven or hell. There is no other. Jesus Christ came to wash away our sins by the testimony of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he died for, according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, that you might be saved by the faith and belief in the word of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Bible. The Bible proclaims in Acts 16.31, What must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? From hell. The Bible speaks of a hell. Jesus preached about hell. There is a hell after life without believing on Jesus Christ as your Savior. Religion will get you into hell. Atheism will get you into hell. But Jesus Christ will get you out of hell. By His blood atonement, acceptable unto God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is not willing that any should perish. God has reached out. God has saw that you have a need and has met that need in the Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Salvation is in no other. You stand here on the Lord's Day, a Sunday morning, watching a bunch of men who are going to make a bunch of left-hand turns. Why don't you make a right-hand turn unto God, unto His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, for salvation. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. The Bible says, go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus died for your sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried, and he arose again, according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures, the Bible that I hold in my hand, the King James Bible, Jesus Christ is your way to God. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now, I bet you didn't even know inside the Bible this NASCAR event that you see is even in the Bible. Nahum, chapter 2. The chariot shall rage in the streets. They shall just do one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like lightning. And yet the Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, the broad is the way that leads to destruction. And straight is the gate is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. says, prepare to meet thy God. You better meet God with Jesus Christ, the gospel, the shed blood of the Son of God, which takes away the sin of the world. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that you might have life and have life more abundantly. When you go into heaven, heaven is only by the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no salvation outside of Jesus Christ. There is no other name given amongst men whereby ye must be born again.
Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 4, The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall justly one against another in the broadways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like lightning. That looks like your NASCAR right there in the Bible, but run in the broadways. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Destruction. He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him. The wrath of God is a place called hell. Man will go into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ as their sin atonement. Religion can't save. You can't save. You can't just say, hey, there's no God. There is a God. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Salvation rests in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That Lamb of God is the Lord Jesus Christ, the beloved Son of God, sent by God that you are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. God knows that death is coming to all men. And after death, there is eternal life. Eternal life rests in the Bible in heaven or in hell. In heaven by the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 16.31 says, What must I do to be saved? Saved from what? Saved from hell. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation rests upon the finished work of the gospel that Jesus Christ died for our sins. According to the scriptures, he was buried, and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You cannot find according to the scriptures of religion and man's belief. You cannot find according to scriptures with diplomas and science and math. Salvation in heaven rests upon the one that says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If these men of NASCAR are Christians, what are they doing and resting on and racing on a Sunday morning? If they were Christians, they'd be in a church house listening to the Bible being preached. Since you're not in a church house listening to the Bible being preached, we will bring the Bible preaching to you at your NASCAR event. We will bring to you the salvation wrought by God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. If you were to see a sign, someone pulled up John 3.16, and the fans will bless that sign, John 3.16, where that sign says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is John 3.16. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ as your eternal hope, as your only way to get access to the Father. The truth that lies upon Jesus Christ is that you can get to heaven by believing with your heart the confession of your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, as the way of salvation, the way to get to God. God will not take religion. God will not take good works, not of works which any man should boast. You're not good, but the Bible speaks in Romans, there is none good, there is none righteous. All have sinned, come short of the glory of God. And since you have sinned, you will die. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. These things written in the Bible, first John, that you may know you have eternal life. And eternal life rests upon the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. God is the Son, and the Son is God, Jesus Christ, who shed His blood according to the Scripture, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the Scripture, that you might have life, and have life more abundant.
so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I believe the national anthem is one nation under God, indivisible. What about having your soul washed in God, the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, Acts 20:28. 20, what must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die. That's sure. Where are you going to go after you die? The Bible speaks about there's a heaven and there's a hell. There is nothing else. Heaven is wrought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. That salvation cannot be met by religion, by works, not of works, least any man should boast. We read in Nahum chapter 2, verse 4, The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like lightning. That sounds like your NASCAR is going to be going on this afternoon, racing and racing a broad ways. And yet, Matthew chapter 7, the Lord Jesus Christ says, The broad way is the way that leads into destruction. And yet, straight is the gate. Straight is the way, the Lord Jesus Christ, to salvation. That rests upon the Son of God, that died for your sins according to the Scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. You may rest upon the fact is that your driver says, oh, I'm a Christian. Yeah, on a Sunday morning, he's racing right now, preparing to drive his car on the, on the day of the Lord. So, since they won't go to church, we will bring the church and the Bible preaching out here to you people. That you may know that Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. Salvation can be wrought right now. You're not sure when you're going to die. You don't know when death will happen. And yet God has saw that man will die, and if man dies in his sins, he will enter into hell for all eternity. I see a flag here about Trump. But I'm waiting for the Trump of God which call his Christians home. The Trump of God that what is called a rapture when God will call his beloved people a home to be with him by the belief and by the by proclaiming with your mouth and the belief of your heart that Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is Jesus Christ. John 3.16. And somebody were to hold a sign today, says John 3.16 again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And yet John the Baptist speaks about his John chapter 3, He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved from the devil's hell of all eternity and burning. You need to believe that Jesus saved. You need to believe in your heart. You need to confess with your mouth that you are saved by the blood, by the gospel that Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures, and was buried and arose again according to the scriptures. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. 
He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him, the wrath of God is hell. The wages of sin is death. Death is sure, for you are a sinner. And if you die in your sins, that's not the good news. But the good news is the gospel that Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried, and He arose again according to the Scriptures. Salvation is wrought by Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. That is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God is God sent His Son, knowing that you're going to die. God is not willing that any should perish, but God has provided a way that you might be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31 For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation, wrought by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. We come here on the Lord's Day bringing the Bible, since you won't go into church, we will bring the church to you. We will bring the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and tell you that you must be born again. You need and must have Jesus Christ as your way of salvation. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Nathan chapter 2, verse 4. The chariot shall rage in the streets. They shall justle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches, they shall run like lightning. That seems like the closest thing we can find in the Bible of NASCAR. Today, the Lord's Day, we bring to you, since you won't go into church, we'll bring the church to you. We will bring to you the gospel that Jesus Christ died for you. Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures that you may have life, and you might have life more abundantly. Broad way is what Jesus says in Matthew 7, is the way of destruction. Straight is the gate. of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. What if you be sitting here watching these cars go left, go left, and one of them cars end up in the fans and you end up off in eternity? We just had an accident last week at one of our tracks. Last year, one of the car parts went into the fans. Death is sure for humans, because you are a sinner. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God says in His Word, John 3:16, For God so loved the world. The love of God is that He gave His Son, that we may have life and will have life more abundantly. Salvation is wrought in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. We all have a sin condition. If you are to die in your sins, he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him, the wrath of God is hell. God saw that you're going to die, God saw that you are a sinner, and God met your need. God has shown his love by giving his Son the sacrifice wrought by God.
heart for you to be saved, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Your religion can't do it. You can't do it. There's nothing you can do but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The one that said in John 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We stand here bringing you the gospel, bringing you the word of God on the Lord's day. You proclaim that your drivers are saved, yet on the Lord's day they're not inside the church. You're not inside the church, so we will bring the church to you. We will bring you the gospel that Jesus Christ died for your sins, according to the scriptures. Uh, the King James 1611 Bible, that Jesus was buried, and he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. The love of God is that Christ has done what the sacrifice is you need to go to heaven. You will face death. That death may be today. We don't know when you're going to die. We have no idea. It may be now. Salvation should be what of you to seek God, Jesus Christ. Now to be saved. Now is the day of salvation. To the prophet of man, if he, if he gain the whole world and lose his soul. Every man has a soul. Every man will die. Do not die in your sins. Believe on Jesus as your Savior. There is a hell. Jesus spoke about it. Jesus spoke more about hell than he did about heaven. The main purpose that Jesus came was not for Easter bunnies. It's not for Easter eggs. Is that he may die and be sacrificed that you may have life and have life more abundant. Salvation is wrought in the Son of God who suffered and died and bled that we may be set free from our sins. your body right now, you may have a little speck in your bloodstream that could end up in a stroke and end up in death. The wages of sin is death. You are a sinner. You are a sinner that will die. Do not die in your sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Once you take that last breath, there is no do-over. There is no comeback. It is final. And you enter into the gates of heaven by Jesus Christ. You enter into the gates of hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him, whosoever, that's reaching out to everybody and anybody, Male, female, white, black, Hispanic, whoever you are, God says, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That everlasting right is such in the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God's long suffering, he's not willing that any should perish. God won't throw you into hell. You'll throw yourself into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior. God is love, and the love is what that he has provided a way for you to get out of hell. And get out of hell is by Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus says in John 3, 3, ye must be born again. And yet God has given you a free will to choose. God has given you the option. You can choose right now life through Jesus Christ. Or you can choose whatever you want to do and go into hell for all eternity. For all have sinned and come to short of the glory of God. All have sinned. And what is the results of sin? It's death. What has God done? God has provided His Son, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world.
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. For the wages of sin is death. With this race today, people are thinking about winners. They want their guy to win the race, but you must think about death. Because you are a sinner. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Today could be your day that death knocks on your door. Last year we had a car crash into the stands. Your step of death may be today. If you die without Jesus Christ, you will end up in hell. Hell are for people who reject the finished atonement of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Do not die within your sins. Do not die placing your sins in religion. Put your sins through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which cleanses us from all iniquity. For God so loved the world, the love of God is that He gave His Son. His Son came with the gospel that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. And He was buried, and He arose again according to the third day, according to the Scriptures. The Bible says in Acts 16.31, What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's something that one does not want to think about, but death. Death is already worked today. Death is working right now. It may be you. A little blood clot might be working to your brain. Death may be coming for you today. We don't know. But the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God saw that we are sinners. God saw that death is coming. God saw that we cannot do nothing to get into His presence. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can't get there by religion. You can't get there by your works. You can't get there by saying, there's no God. For the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. The Bible says, if you say that there is no, no God, you are a fool. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And yet, again, prepare to meet thy God. There's a God, there's a creator. That Creator saw that we went against His Word, we disobeyed, and He sent His Son. He sent the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Christ died on that cross for our sins. They buried Him, and He arose again victorious, never to die. One sacrifice. One offering to God that we may have life. That we may go to the presence of our Creator by the shed blood of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Salvation is in no other but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not a cuss word. He is the Savior. He's the Savior. He's the one that has been provided by God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We could turn to Matthew chapter 7. In this wind, it's hard. Matthew chapter 7. Enter ye the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go thereat. Broadway is the way into hell, but Jesus Christ is the straight gate provided by God that you may have eternal life. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth into life, and few be there that enter thereby. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. The will of the Father is that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, haven't we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Imagine God calling to you saying, God, I'm a Catholic. Depart from me, I never knew you. God, I'm a Baptist. Depart from me, I never knew you. God, I won the poll at the Daytona 500. Depart from me, I never knew you. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father. God, no man comes unto the Father but by me. That's the words of Jesus Christ. Those words are because you're going to die. And the reason why you're going to die is because you're a sinner. The wages of sin is death. And yet the Lamb of God takes away the sin of the world. God has provided the payment. God has provided that sacrifice that you need to believe. You need to trust and by the Word of God, by your heart, by your mouth to be saved. Salvation is wrought in no other. God is not willing that any should perish. That He for so loved the world that He gave His Son. Jesus Christ said, I will step in that gap for man. I will give man an opportunity not to step off and to hell. You can go to heaven by Jesus Christ or you can go into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. God will not throw you into hell. You throw yourself into hell. John chapter 3 says, John chapter 3. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. See, you are not going to hell by not believing on Jesus Christ. You're already condemned. And by hearing the gospel right now that Jesus says and only Jesus says, you will stand without excuse before God at the great white throne judgment. You say, well, God, I never knew. But I sent a man to you, Daytona 500, on a Sunday morning to preach to you out of the King James 1611 Bible what you must do, what God expects you to do to get into glory. You are without excuse. You have heard what God has said through the Bible to believe on His Son. There's nothing else. There's no other way but His Son to get into eternal life, into glory. And it rests upon the finished work of Jesus Christ. Not of works, lest any man should boast. See, we're not going to go to heaven and look at man. We're going to go to heaven and look at Jesus Christ. Now, if you don't want God, you don't want Jesus, you don't want the Bible, there's a perfect place for you called hell. And yet, in hell, the Bible says there's no mercy. There's torment, being tormented, being tormenting without God. See, God is love and God is mercy, but Satan is not. Satan's domain, God made hell for Satan as angels. He never intended man to go, but man rejected what the Word of God said. You will go into hell by rejecting what God has told you to do. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. This is the day, this is the Lord's day, a Sunday morning. We will bring to you the Word of God. We will bring to you the gospel that Jesus Christ died for your sins. According to the scripture, that he was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures, that he is seated at the right hand of the Father right now. He is living, though he died. There is no other man that is living that's yet alive. Your eternal soul will step off into eternity when you die. And that death may be today. I don't know. You don't know. Last year you had one of those cars spray all kinds of parts into the fans. Nobody died, thank God, but what if one of those cars today took your life? What if your favorite driver killed you today and you went off into eternity? What if today is your day? Listen, I root for your driver. May he win, but may another winning thing could happen today that you write your name down in the last book of life that you have trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior. Some of these drivers are saved. They profess to believe on Jesus Christ. Why not go with them to be with the Savior as they are your fans, your fans of those drivers that believe on Jesus. Why don't you trust the same Jesus that they trusted? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. What greater love, the Bible says, that a man will lay down his life for his friends. You are an 
enemy of God, and yet God said, Son, go die for them. You are an enemy of God, and Jesus said, I will go and take their place. I will become their atonement. I will take their place in hell. I will die that they may have life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ before you die. Be saved before you die. Because after you die, you can't change nothing. <laughs> For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is simple. It's a place called hell. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Well, you're going to die one day because you are a sinner. Do not die in your sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved from a place called hell. Jesus Christ is the only way, for he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can't get to heaven by being good, for there is none good. No, not one. to heaven is free by the ticket of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. For the wages of sin is death. Death is because you're a sinner. And death, the Bible says, afterwards there is an afterlife. The Bible proclaims that there's a heaven and there's a hell. There is no other. And Jesus said, when it comes to going to heaven, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Not of works, lest any man should boast. You can't get to heaven for being good because the Bible says there is none good. You can't get to heaven by religion because religion is man-made. Proverbs says the ways of man are death. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. These tickets to get into the races cost large amounts of money. And yet the ticket into heaven, the way of salvation is free. By believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The gift of God is free. A gift is free. It's Jesus Christ. Your ability, your payment for sin is death, the Bible proclaims. For what shall a man give for exchange for his soul? The only exchange God will take for your soul is the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. As the gospel is, gospel, good news, that Jesus Christ died. According to the scriptures, the King James Bible, he, he was buried, and he arose again according to the scriptures. There's no Baptists, there's no Catholics in heaven, Christians. Christians that come through the cross. Christians have come through the blood. With the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The only payment God will take for your sin is the precious blood of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. God's not willing that any should perish. That's why He gave His Son. That's why His Son gave up His life. We're coming upon a season called Easter. It's not of bunnies, not of eggs. It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The finished work, the victory over the grave, the victory over death. God in the Son of the Lord Jesus Christ, 100% man, 100% God, came and gave a sacrifice for your sins, that you may have access to the Father by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. 
can't get to heaven on your goodness because the Bible says there's none good. For all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. The only one that, that fulfills God's promise, the only thing that fulfills God's way is His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. If you think otherwise, then you're saying you're better than Jesus. A man goes to heaven by Jesus Christ. A man will go into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. And God's not willing that you should perish. God's not wanting you to go into hell. He gave His Son that you may have life, and have life more abundant. Salvation is brought through the Lord Jesus Christ. Death is coming. Death is 100 more sure than taxes. And yet Jesus Christ died that you may have life. There is hope from the grave. There is hope in death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the blood of God, Acts 20, 28. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon Him. Matthew chapter... Nahum chapter 2, verse 4, The chariot shall rage in the streets, they shall jostle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like lightning. That seems to be like the NASCAR racing. They're battling against each other. The chariots are racing. And yet the broad ways, Jesus said, is the way of destruction. And Jesus Christ said, enter through the straight gate. The straight gate is the Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. For God so loved the world. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The merit of God is the gospel that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. The wages of sin is death. We're going to die, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You're going to die. You're going to die because you're a sinner. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. So the Bible says once you die, you'll enter off into eternity. And in eternity, the Bible says that there are two places to go. There's a heaven that's wrought by Jesus Christ, and there's a hell, anything else but Jesus Christ. God will not throw you into hell. You throw yourself into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior. You can trust in anything you want but Jesus. That will get you a free ticket into hell. And yet to get a free ticket to be with God the Father is by the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. See, man has two conditions. Man is a sinner, and man's going to die. And man will face eternity by his decision while he's living. A decision is that Jesus Christ needs to be your Savior to go to glory, to go to heaven. The Bible says in Acts 16, What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Matthew. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Enter ye the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many, many there be that go there, but straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life, and few be there that and find it. Many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done wonderful works. 
Therefore, whosoever hears, I will confess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Religion cannot save you. Work cannot save you. It's not who you know, it's who you have believed on. Who have you trusted to save your soul? Your soul depends on the finished work in the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel. We are in the church. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. See, this, this woman has asked me to go to church. You guys in church, and we bring the church to you. We bring the Bible to you, the King James 1611 one Bible, and we are preaching to you what should be preached every Sunday morning, the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together, there I am in the midst of them. And the message is, Jesus saves, and Jesus alone saves. You will die because you are a sinner. Death is coming. And we don't know when death is coming. We have no idea. So now is the day of salvation. Now is the time to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Like last year, you may have an accident and car parts spread through the fans. Those fans, those fans were, not, were very much injured. This time, those car parts may come in and may get you and may kill you. Before you die, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your sins through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Heaven is free. It is wrought by Jesus Christ alone. Salvation is in no other. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be born again. There is no other salvation. There is no other way. There is no religion. There is nothing that can beat Jesus Christ on what needs to be done to get to heaven. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God is the fact is man will die. Man is a sinner. Death is coming. And God has provided a way to get access to Him, and that access is by Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Sin is like a cancer. It needs to be cut out. It needs to be removed. And the only way you can remove that cancer is by your faith and belief in the word that Jesus saves. And Jesus alone saves. What advantage of a man gains the whole world and yet loses his soul? What shall a man give for exchange for his eternal soul? It's Jesus Christ. The gospel is that Christ died for your sins. According to the scriptures, he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What must you be do? What must you do to be saved? You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 16:31. John the Baptist says in John chapter three, He that has the Son has eternal life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him, the wrath of God is hell. God will not put you into hell. You will 
put yourself in hell by not believing and not trusting in the finished work of Jesus Christ. You are a sinner. And because you are a sinner, you can't be you cannot appear before a holy and righteous God. For God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And you can't be holy, you can't go before God as a sinner. You've got to deal with a sin issue. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Not of works, least any man boast. There's nothing you can boast, there's nothing you can do. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There are no Baptists in heaven. There are no Catholics in heaven. There's only people who are Christians by the shed blood, by the finished work of Jesus Christ alone, minus nothing. The merit of Jesus Christ is that He shed His blood that you may have eternal life. The Bible says, Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. That Christ died and was buried and arose again. Because you're going to die. You're going to face death one day. That death may be today. Who knows, maybe you get one of those accidents like last year where the car goes into the fans. Death is something you got to think about. It's something that the Bible says you can have hope. The blessed hope. In death by the being absent from the body and present with the Lord by the finished work of Jesus Christ. And yet, without Jesus Christ, the Bible says in the Gospel of Luke, and He died and was buried and woke up in hell. But once you die, you cannot come back and do a game over and restart. Your choice is now before you die. There may be a little clock working inside your brain right now, and it may put the end to you. You might try to cross this road, and somebody hits you and die. You might, you don't know. There are so many ways you can die, and there's so many limited times of your life on this earth. And yet God said, go and tell them. Tell them about their death. Tell them about their sins. And tell them about Jesus Christ, the Savior. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You can't walk up you guys cannot walk up to God and say, Look at me. Look how good I am. For the Bible says there is none good. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You gotta deal with your sin as you do with a cancer. You gotta cut it out. You gotta remove that sin as you remove cancer. And the only way to remove that sin is by the finished work of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That gift of God is eternal life. But you can't get eternal life if you are yet still in your sins. You cannot go to heaven if you think you can take care of your own sins. If you think your religion or you can do whatever you think you can do to go to heaven, then you're telling God that Jesus Christ, His Son, is not worthy enough. That Jesus Christ has no power. And yet the Gospel says Christ died for your sins according to the Scriptures. Your works are not according to the Scriptures. Your religion is not according to the Scriptures. He was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your popes, your priests, your pa your, pa your pastor, your whoever you're believing hath not risen from the grave. Because Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father right now, alive and well. No other man could match with Jesus Christ. No other man could ever say he was sinless as Jesus Christ was sinless. Jesus Christ, 100% God, 100% man, has fulfilled the, the promise, has fulfilled your need as God has prescribed for you to get to heaven. That need is that He was sacrificed. He was brought, brought into hell. That you may not go to hell. About 24 hours from the time that Jesus was arrested and beaten and bruised and cruelly treated to that cross where He was nailed. 24 hours, if not a little more, where He suffered and died for your sins. In 24 hours to save your soul. Or if you think you can buy your own soul, you can take care of your own soul, you can suffer in hell for all eternity. You can believe on the salvation work that was 24 hours, or you can do it yourself for all 
eternity. Eternity is a long time because there is no time. You will suffer for your own sins if you do not believe on Jesus Christ for all eternity. You will suffer. At this moment right now, you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you can die and go off to glory by the merits of Jesus Christ alone and nothing else. Some of your NASCAR drivers are saved. They're going to heaven by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. It's only just a shame that they weren't in church this morning. Imagine one day standing before God. What are you going to say? When God says, why should I let you into my heaven? You're going to tell them you're a good person? The Bible says there is none good. You're going to tell God, hey, I'm a Catholic. That don't work. Baptists don't work. God has already provided the way into heaven. That way is His Son. The finished work of the gospel that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again according to the scriptures. The straight gate that leads into life is that of Jesus Christ and nothing else. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins within about 24 hours of a day. He suffered, died, and bled for you. And you can receive Him right now as your Savior. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you can trust your own merit. You can trust your religion. You can trust in anything but Jesus Christ and pay for your own sins. You can pay for your own sins. You can buy your own sins. The problem is, it is eternity in a place called hell if you want to do it your way. If you want to do it in rebellion against God, not believe in Jesus Christ, you can burn in hell the lake of fire for all eternity and be absent from God and be absent from salvation. Or you can put your finished work on the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Some of your NASCAR drivers, some of you guys are fans of born again Christians. And not only will they go across that checkered flag in victory, but when the day they die, they'll go through the checkered flag by Jesus Christ to God the Father. You've got to realize that you are a sinner. All have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. You can't pay for your sin. There is nothing you can do. There is no merit that God will accept except His Son. The wages of sin is death. You may be having right now inside your body a clock working its way up to your brain. You may not even cross this road. You might not even finish this race. You might have a car going to stands like they did last year. Realize death is coming and you don't know when. But this is the day of salvation. Prepare to meet that God. Meet thy God through the blood and the finished work of Jesus Christ. And when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, there is hope in death. The Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And yet, if you do not believe God, you will not do what God tells you to do. The Bible says, be buried, you die, you be buried, and then you wake up in hell. And there's no coming out. Once you take that final breath, when God says your time is done, what you decide to do right now, while you're living, you can't change your mind, you can't change your direction in hell. Your decision has to be made for Christ before you die. You do not have tomorrow. Tomorrow is not ever promised. Tomorrow is always today. And yet Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. There is no other means of salvation brought by God, but His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, 
shall have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is hell. Eternal damnation for rejecting Jesus Christ as your sin offering. For the wages of sin is death. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All men are sinners. You will die because you are a sinner. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Eternal salvation is wrought by Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Nathan chapter 2 verse 4, The chariot shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like lightning. Broadway is a racetrack of cars attracting each other, challenging each other. And Jesus said the Broadway is the way of destruction. And yet straight is the gate that leads into life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world, the love of God is His Son, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We are all in the need of Jesus Christ as our Savior. And God has given us a free will to choose life or death. A man is cast into hell because he rejects Jesus Christ as his Savior. God does not put anybody into hell. You put yourself into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior. Life is wrought by Jesus Christ for the hope after death to be absent from the body and be present with the Lord. And if you choose not Jesus Christ, and be die and be buried and wake up in hell, according to the Gospel of Luke. For what shall a man give for exchange for his soul? The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ cleanses from all unrighteousness. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The wages of sin is death. Death is coming. Death is sure. You will die because you are a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. And the way to get to heaven is said by Jesus Christ, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible says in Acts 16, What must I do to be saved? Saved from what? Saved from hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is hope with death. That hope lies in the finished work, the gospel of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins according to the scriptures, and was buried, 
and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus alone saves. For God so loved the world, the love of God is Jesus Christ. There is no other way to get to heaven. And know that some of your drivers that you root for are, root for are saved Christians, born again Christians. The Bible says ye must be born again. You're born with a nature of sin. You are born condemned by God because you are a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yet this the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Sin in a human life is like a cancer. It destroys and it causes death. And like cancer, you've got to have that sin removed. You've got to get rid of that sin. You've got to believe on the shed, finished work of the blood of Jesus Christ brought upon Calvary. The Gospel is that Jesus Christ died for our sins. According to the Scripture, He was buried, and He arose again the third day according to the Scripture. And we are told to go ye in all the world and preach that Gospel, because you will die. And without Jesus Christ, you'll be in hell. And once you're in hell, you'll never get out. You will suffer and burn in a lake of fire for all eternity. And you need not so. God will not throw you into hell. You will throw yourself into hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. The finished work. Not of any works, least any man should boast. There is no other merit outside the finished work of Jesus Christ that will save your soul. You will die because the wages of sin is death. Death is going to happen to you any time. At the moment of time, we don't know when death will come. There is no tomorrow. There is no putting salvation off until later on. And yet, in our disease called sin and in iniquity, God sent His Son. The love of God is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only substitute that God will take for your sin. You must be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. You must come to Calvary's cross and ask Christ and receive Christ in your heart the forgiveness and the repentance of what you have done against God, iniquity and sin. One lie, one stealing makes you a sinner. Born of a woman makes you a sinner. For all have sinned. That's all of us. In April 1987, I asked Christ to save my soul. My name was lit, written down the Lamb's Book of Life. I left religion for Jesus Christ. There is nothing I can do, there is nothing you can do to go up to God and say, God, this is what I've done to get to your heaven. It will not be accepted. You must come to God in righteousness because God is holy. And God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. And the only way you can be holy is by the righteousness, by Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The love of God, the offering, the gift of God, the eternal life, by Jesus Christ, our Lord. No other, no other, nothing else can save your soul but Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, 
but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Man is subject to death. The wages of sin is death. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And yet the gift of God... Jesus Christ came into this world to save us sinners. That salvation comes by you putting your, your faith and your heart and your mouth upon the saving grace of Jesus Christ. God incarnate in the flesh, born of a virgin, suffered and died that we may have life eternal. There is no other way to God but Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Death is sure. Death is coming. At what moment, at what time, we don't know. The Bible says this is the day of salvation. You're not guaranteed a tomorrow. And yet Christ knew that we are sinners for all have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. Sin is a cancer in our life. That cancer needs to be removed. 